Tourism isn't always about sunny beaches and happy memories. There's a growing fascination with the darker side of history and human experience. This is known as dark tourism, and it's raising important questions about ethics, education, and the commodification of suffering. Dark tourism involves visiting sites associated with death, disaster, or tragedy. These places can range from former battlefields and concentration camps to sites of natural disasters or infamous crimes. But what draws people to these somber destinations? The motivations behind dark tourism are varied and complex. Some seek to pay their respects. Others want to learn about history or confront difficult truths. Some may be drawn by curiosity, a desire for thrills, or even a morbid fascination. Several theories try to explain the appeal of dark tourism. Seton coined the term thanatourism, the study of death and dying and how it relates to tourism. It could be from our morbid curiosity, the innate human desire to understand and experience the taboo, an existential confrontation, facing mortality and suffering can give people a renewed appreciation for life. Or as a historical education, learning about past atrocities can foster empathy and prevent future horrors. But dark tourism raises serious ethical concerns. Is it respectful to profit from tragedy? Does it exploit the suffering of victims? How do we ensure that these sites are presented with dignity and sensitivity? Dark tourism can have positive impacts. Tourism revenue can help fund the maintenance and preservation of historical sites. Dark tourism can provide valuable historical education and promote dialogue about difficult topics. It can bring economic opportunities to communities affected by tragedy. In some cases, dark tourism can contribute to healing and reconciliation processes. But there are also potential downsides. The risk of trivializing or sensationalizing tragedy. Seton argues that dark tourism is erratic and polysemic, and consequently, commodification can dilute dark tourism by stripping away perceived sacredness or cultural dignity of the dead. Exploiting suffering can be seen as disrespectful. The tragic dead and their demise are often commercialized through kitsch and standardized tourist mementos. These include, but are not limited to, fridge magnets on sale at Auschwitz-Birkenau showing Nazi death camps Snow globes traded in New York, depicting 9-11 at Ground Zero. Or replicate toy grenades retailed at the killing fields in Cambodia. Visiting dark sites can be emotionally challenging for some tourists. An influx of tourists can overwhelm communities and disrupt their daily lives. According to a study by Cresswell, the reciprocity is not always an outcome as some tourist experiences are divorced from any sense of place felt by resident populations. Dark tourism is a complex and often controversial topic. As this form of travel grows, it's crucial to navigate the ethical challenges. We must find ways to ensure that these sites serve as places of remembrance, education, and respect.